Alright guys, for this section of the video, we're going to actually unbox, let me come back over, the 240 gig SSD from our friends over at SanDisk, and we're going to unbox our Vengeance 16 gig RAM. So, we're going to do the actual RAM first, I think. Uh, let's see here. Open this guy up. And I didn't cut the box, but that's okay. Now we're gonna pull out these two 8 gig sticks. And as I said later, I'll probably buy two more. These are really nice. They got some good ventilation going on with them. And I'm just checking to make sure it is two times eight, so it's what it's supposed to be. And it's got a nice feel to it. Uh, this RAM pretty much goes on the one way because it's keyed. And let me show you real quick off the sticks what we got. Um, the RAM needs to go in these two gray slots because that is slot, and I think it's labeled on this opposite side. It's labeled somewhere. Where yeah, it's labeled. You can kind of see it if I move right here. Number one, number three, number two, number four. So one and two are gray, three and four are black. So I'm gonna pop these in. I'll show it to you. I've got one out that I can pop in right now. And it basically, I'm just gonna keep the camera here. I'm gonna to slide these back. And it basically goes in, make sure I got it, and you'll hear it pop in like so, and that's that. So I'll pop the other one in, show you, and we'll be good there. Now then, let me go back on the tripod. I'm sorry if I was back and forth, folks. Beareth with it, me it. Let's unbox this uh, SanDisk Extreme um, SSD because this will be funny if I don't like cut my hand off. And I've seen these several times before. Uh, this is a 240 gig. A lot of people for their startup this go with like a 120 or something. But I figured it was just a couple more bucks to go ahead and, and do this right. Or do it the way I perceived it to be right. I almost went with a 500 and some odd gig. Then I came down off of that, at least for now. Um, thing weighs nothing. My solid state sand is dry. Nice and pretty. Uh, we've got a couple bolt spots here. I'm going to bolt this into this hard drive case. And it's going to go like this. And I think that'll get it. I gotta. Hey, that's gonna be tight. Let's see. Well, it'll go something like this. Y'all have both bolts in there. But trust me, it will work once I get it squeezed in. I promise it'll fit in here. And it'll look something like this like that. So I'm going to bolt it in I'll show you what I got. So stand by. So check it out guys. If you look in this tray, that little guy in there is my solid state drive sitting on tray one. Um, I've got my other, my one terabyte drive right here ready to go and it's going to go in bay two here. Um, as you can look right there, both dams of memory are in. So we've got 16 gig to start with and I am about to I'm going to go ahead and install this hard drive, then I'll wire these hard drives up, and I'll be ready to show you something else when I'm finished. Alright guys, the next part that I'm going to be installing is both of my optical drives, and they're both, um, the brand is right here, they're Sony, and they're Opticar drives. Uh, the model number is uh, AD-7280S and these will read and write just standard DVDs. Hopefully my Blu-ray deck will be coming soon. 
and these should pop in fairly easy with this particular system uh, which is what makes it great they should pretty much once I line them up just snap in and there it is done we're gonna add the second one same exact way should just slide it up get it on track snap it in done so we got both of those drives ready to roll blue ray drive is going to go right here and i may move these around a little bit just depending on what i feel like but yeah they pop right in that install that install is complete so we're, we're slowly building a computer